Hi! Today I'm going to be reading Pokemon One Shot Lemon by Litsy Lauren. Your discretion is advised. This is pretty disturbing. Fluffy requested this, so I hope you like this, little sister. Bye! Hope you like the video as you watch it. Irene was a Pokemon trainer and a potophile. She didn't try to hide it. Her friends knew. They thought it was a bit weird, but they didn't mind. Some people thought she was disgusting, but she didn't give a crap about them. The law had just been changed, so she was absolutely fine. Torst, it hadn't stopped her before then. She had six Pokemon, and she had done it with five of them. A male Charizard, a female Gardevoir, a male Lucario, a female Ninetales, and a male Arcanine. Then there was her Lunatone. She had caught it accidentally, not planning to keep it due to its status as a non-breeding Pokemon, planning to give it as a birthday present for a friend. Then an egg appeared by her Gardevoir overnight that hatched into a Lunatone. She quickly persuaded her Gardevoir to let her give the baby to her friend with a pack of her candies, and she began working out how the Lunatone did it. It doesn't even have a cock! Irene was in the forest clearing with her Lunatone. She was talking to it. Look, I know you can do it. Just tell me how, she said furious. She had been trying this repeatedly for days. Tone, it said. She groaned. Uh, she had wondered whether to get a translator. Just tell me, you're a psychic type. I don't want to, it said telepathically. Oddly, its mouth still moved. She groaned. For the love of me, just tell me. No. She screamed in frustration. I'll show you. Undress. Irene blinked. This was new. Then she smiled. Then she undressed. The Lunatone gave what might be a smile looking at her naked body and dripping entrance, opening its mouth slightly and dropping to the ground, rolling so its mouth faced upwards. What to mean, sit on me, said the moon Pokemon. Irene was confused, but she did. <sighs> no, not like that. It's sentimental image, and she broke into a smile. She sat on the Pokemon. One lady either side of it, her cunt covering the two prongs of its mouth. She yelped in pain. Ouch! Her back stiffing and then relaxed, her body almost melting in place as the feeling of the spike inside her hit her. The Lunatone opened its mouth, the two halves stretching her insides further than they had ever gone. Her mouth was open to a wordless flame of contrasting feelings as the stretching tore at her nerves like fiery agony and the touch of its cold, rocky skin. It sighed her so much. Its mouth got smaller, retracting into its body, and then it's standing outwards, quickly opening up as well, deeper into her than ever, wider than ever. She screamed, ouch, stretching pain, unparalleled pressure. This kind of thing just didn't happen with humans. This was why. It did it again, then each time, deeper, wider, more painful, more wonderful, till she was pushing herself down onto it, her screams changing to mo and drones as the pain faded, but the joy did not. Then eventually he got so deep that he could go no further, opened so wide and liquid shot into her as he came. So did she. The mixed liquid ran, ran down Irene's legs, down Lunatone's side. She then get up, staying in her place, impaled on his mouth that also seemed to be his cock. Ew! Gross! Her face was barely conscious, asleep with bliss. Irene asked the Lunatone. Yes, she asked the movement of his mouth. He choked on the words out through another wave of feeling. If, I, if you get an egg from this, please don't give it away. He asked, deadly serious and seeming quite worried. I don't think that's possible, but I promise, she said, wondering about whether it could happen. Lunatone's eyes glowed as he physically scanned her body. Can I name our daughter? He asked with a joking tone. Irene's body shook with the pleasure of his moving mouth. Of course, she said, delirious with how it felt. Wait, what? Lunatone's laughter rang in her head and he pushed into her again. She stopped complaining. 